Welcome back to Palmister channel. In this video, we will walk you through the complete settings menu of the PAL HVN 4.2K 24V D all-in-one solar inverter, helping you better understand the function of each setting with clarity and ease. To enter the settings menu, press and hold Enter key for 3 seconds on the main screen. Setting 0 is used to exceed the setting menu. Setting 1 sets the output power priority. SUV mode prioritizes PV power for the load. If PV is insufficient, utility power will supplement the load. SPU mode also prioritizes PV power. When PV is insufficient, the battery will supply power. Utility power is only used when both PV and battery are unavailable. MKS mode prioritizes PV as well. When PV can't fully power the load, the battery steps in. Utility power will only be used if both PV and battery are unavailable. This is the main difference between MKS and SPU. The utility power kicks in under stricter conditions in MKS mode. You can set a battery low voltage threshold that triggers the switch to utility power under setting 12. Setting 2 sets the maximum total charging current from both PV and utility, ranging from 10 ampere to 100 ampere. Setting 3 sets the acceptable AC input voltage range. APL allows 90 to 280 volt, should both for areas with unstable grid power. UPS allows 170 to 280 volt, offering more stable output for sensitive loads. Setting 4 enables or disables power saving mode. When enabled, the inverter will stop output if the load is too low or undetectable. Setting 5 says the battery type. Options include AGM battery, fluid latency battery, user defined option, and the lithium battery. If you choose USC or LIB, you can customize charging parameters in settings 26, 27, and 29. Setting 6 enables auto restart after overload shutdown. Setting 7 enables auto restart after over temperature shutdown. Setting 8 sets output voltage to 220 volts, 230 volts, or 240 volts. Setting 9 sets output frequency to 50 Hz or 60 Hz. Setting 10 selects the lithium battery communication protocol. You can choose pylon or pace. Setting 11 sets the maximum utility charging current. If setting 1 is set to SPU or MKS mode, setting 12 defines the battery low voltage threshold for switching to utility power. Setting 13 defines the recovery voltage for switching back to battery mode. Setting 16 lets you choose charging source priority. In SNU mode, both solar and utility power can charge the battery at the same time. In OSO mode, only solar is used for charging. In CSO mode, solar comes first. The inverter will use utility power only if there is no solar available. Setting 18 enables or disables the buzzer alarm. If disabled, those will be indicated only by the LED and error codes without a beeping sound. Setting 19 enables auto return to the default display screen after one minute of inactivity. Setting 20 enables or disables screen backlight. Turning off the backlight and reduce inverter self-consumption. Setting 22 enables or disables bus alert when the output power priority is blocked. 
Setting 23 enables bypass mode during overload in battery mode. When enabled, the inverter will automatically switch to utility mode if an overload occurs. Setting 25 enables fault code logging. When enabled, you can view fault history via the upper computer. If you select a USE or LIB in setting 5, you can customize the following in settings 26, 27, and 29. Block charging voltage, flow charging voltage, low voltage cutoff voltage. Setting 33 enables battery equalization. This is only available if the battery type is set to flow date or custom. If enabled, you can configure equalization-related settings in items 34 to 39. Equalization is typically used for fluid latency batteries. Setting 34 sets the equalization voltage. This is the voltage the inverter uses during equalization charging. Setting 35 sets how long the equalization charging will last. Setting 36 says a timeout extension. If the battery doesn't reach the equalization voltage in time, the inverter will extend charging for a bit longer based on this setting. Setting 37 says how often equalization takes place, for example, once every few weeks. Setting 39 lets you manually start or stop equalization right away. That concludes the settings walkthrough for the PAL HVN 4.2K 24V D on one cell inverter. We hope this video helps enhance your user experience. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.